Good morning guys. I am back again with a vlog today because first I'm gonna show you my puppies because they're so cute. Hey boys. They're they have both I get them always two treats. And Boca is a bully, honestly. And he always takes it from Rex and then he hides the other one so Rex can't play with one. Like he he won't let him play with any of them. He's really he's a bully. Look at poor Rexy. Where did your stick go, Papa? His, his it's literally hidden. <sighs> there were oh no, Boca ate his, and now he's playing with Rex's, and he won't let Rex. Poor Rex. Boca, be nice. He's not that nice. Okay, so I figured I. Ooh, okay, I figured I would vlog today because I have some exciting stuff to do today I am starting it a little later than I anticipated Because I have to go get my car. Um, I just got a new insurance because I was on I had Allstate and When I got my new car my insurance went up hundred and fifty dollars and it was a whole mess because they had given me one quote and then it, it ended up being another quote so I was very upset, obviously, and so I called Geico, and I feel like that commercial when I was telling everybody the story. Um, so I called Geico, and they're giving me literally it's it's gonna be it's two hundred dollars a month for my car insurance. Which since I don't own the car, the bank owns the car because I finance the car. You need um, like that type of insurance that's full coverage and whatnot. So it was a little bit expensive. So. Allstate had raised me to $350. Now keep in mind, I am only 23, so my insurance still isn't as low as, you know, like a, a typical adult would be. And it's a luxury vehicle and whatnot, so it went up to 350 and I was like, I'm not paying that. First they had quoted me 250 or 220 was the original quote. And even that, I was like, okay, it's higher than my old insurance, but that's fine. And then when I got 350, when I called to add the car, I flipped out. So I called Geico to get a quote and it went through, everything was good for $200 a month. So that's really a lot better than 350. So I'm excited, I'm going, they have to go inspect my car, so I'm doing that. So I'm starting today off a little late also.
I just left Nordstrom Rack and there it is. It was awful. It was like really, really, really bad. Um, the prices were super high as you're gonna see in the clips that I just inserted. It was just bad, like no deals. I mean, it was crazy. I'll take my chances at Goodwill for um, for Helmet Lang new attacks, like you guys saw what I found. So, not a biggie. I'm gonna go to Goodwill now. All right, you guys. I, know. I just finished up at Zara. Oh, no, Zara. <laughs> It was like I was at Zara. I just finished up at Salvation Army where I told you that they get pallets from Zara. And I just bought so much stuff. Wait till I show you guys my trunk. Like maybe you could see it. My trunk and my trunk is like big. It's like a SUV trunk, you know? Packed. I hate driving in Miami. All right, packed. Okay, the manager was awesome. And I didn't end up taking as much as I was gonna take just because I was nervous. Like what if it doesn't, since it's almost the end of the winter season, like what if it all doesn't sell? I was a little nervous, so I didn't wanna take it all because then I'll get stuck with it. But I'm pretty confident the coats like will sell year round if they're a good price. And Zara coats are typically, um, you know, they could range anywhere from 100 to $300 because they all have the tags on it and they all say, you know, like different prices. And that's pretty much what they range all from. And it was awesome. I mean, I thought I was going to get it a little cheaper, but the big bulky coats ended up being uh, $10 each and I'm trying to think what else and then I got like some thinner but still bulky like pretty I still would have considered it bulky but not as bulky still like nice coats those were $4 each then I got two skirts because I had bought a ton of skirts yesterday so I got two more skirts that were really cute patterns and stuff I got those for $2 a piece everything I got was new with tags and then three little surprises that just kind of snuck right in there I got two st. John pieces which he ended up giving me for two dollars a piece since I was taking so much stuff he gave me like a little discount so I got two st. John pieces and a Jill Salen sander um, blazer which has some damage on it but I, if I can get it out, I'm gonna send it to the real real. If not, I'll just sell it on eBay, like not a biggie. But I got each of those pieces for two dollars. The St. John, one of them was a St. John sport dress, which is beautiful. Like it is such a cute dress. I mean, it is a really, really pretty dress. I'll show it to you guys. Um, and then I got a St. John caviar which the caviar collection is a really nice collection and a really pretty like evening, an evening um, little sequin top, which is really pretty. And then I got the Jill Sander that I just talked about. So that alone, like the St. John sport dress and the other St. John piece will more than cover everything that I got. So that's awesome. Everything else is just kind of like pure profit after that. I spent a hundred, I think now that I think back at it, I think they gave me a further discount at the end, like they discounted everything. Um, so it came out to like one, was it 140? Either 140 or 120, I don't remember how much it came out to. But I thought it was a steal for everything I got. And the key factor in this, which is why I'm vlogging it, because I was very hesitant, like should I vlog it, should I not vlog it? But I wanna teach you guys that it's okay to like go out of your shell and start talking to people and tell them that you sell online like you don't have to be embarrassed about it ashamed about it nothing like there's nothing wrong with what we do and people that try to shame you into thinking something is wrong with what we do because some people do like they they're like you resell used clothes 
And I'm like, yeah, bitch, I do. Like, what are you going to do about it? So, um, don't let anybody shame you into what you do is a bad thing because as you see with a lot of people on YouTube and on Instagram and just even people that aren't even on social media because I know people that do sell also and they're not on social media and they live really good lives. Like, do not let anybody shame you into thinking what we do is wrong or bad or if you're looking at maybe getting into this, it's not wrong. It's an honest living and there's nothing wrong with what we do so I'm not gonna really go into it much because I don't need to justify myself to anybody I've never thought I needed to justify myself to anybody but I'm just saying just in case people are watching the video and they don't necessarily agree with what we do because I do see those dislikes on my videos and I know those are haters that are like oh my god I can't believe she's selling clothes like that help the homeless oh my god oh my god like that's so wrong those are clothes for the for the poor like those are no they're not no, they're not. And every time ignorant ass people tell me shit like that, sorry, I'm cursing, but I'm just like so annoyed. I literally am like on the verge of freaking out the next time somebody tells me, isn't that, don't you feel bad you're stealing from the poor? I'm not stealing from the poor. Goodwill, I don't know who came up with that, that said that Goodwill like clothes the poor and stuff. They clothe all sorts of people from all walks of life, okay? They help, they do programs to help people get into work which is amazing which they're in business not because of joe blow who freaking buys one thing and never goes back there they're in business because people like me people like you people like people people that send things to the islands and things like that like they are in business because of people like us like let's be realistic let's not sugarcoat it it is what it is so i feel like i'm getting really into this i'm getting very worked up my thoughts are all over the place Never blogged before, so I'm all very awkward. But <coughs> the boss is sleeping because she was supposedly working late last night. I don't know because I was already asleep. So I'm gonna get some crap out of her car. So Stephanie, I guess, did buy a couple of uh, things. I just got everything out of the trunk because she's been working really hard, and I just wanted to do something nice for her, like get all this crap out for her. So she has one, two, three, four, and I want to say five, but this son of a bitch is as big as me. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it inside now. I had to do it for the vlog. Vlog? Yeah, I vlogged. My vlog is officially over. Thank you guys for tuning in. Alright guys, so I got my little photo set up today. It's Saturday, so I figured I'd whip this bad boy out because I want space for the coats so I can photograph them to the best of my ability, I just need one light because it is pretty sunny out, so that's all I need. And yeah, so this is all the stuff. There's a lot of multiples, so it shouldn't take me that long to list. I think there's about four or five different coat styles, so nothing too crazy at all. Which, let me just show you guys real quick since this is a vlog. And I can do whatever I want in the vlog. Um... Let me show you guys something. So, since my Nordstrom haul was a flop. So, I just went to Walmart and I bought a ton of stuff. I went in because we needed we needed some Swiffer stuff, which as you can see right here, the expensive thing was the Swiffers. It was 12.42 for the pack of Swiffers, and everything else was literally like 25 cents 25 cents so i spent 22 dollars was what i spent but let me just show you what i got because i wanted to get some stuff from the valentine's day sale that could be utilized year round so i got these cupcake holders so 150 for and they're just like red and they have like gold ones and little stripes nothing to do with valentine's day it doesn't say valentine's day on it nothing let me put a light on 
Mm, wrong light. There's so many freaking light switches. I never know what is the light. Okay. Is that better? I feel like it's yellow now. Let me see. I feel like it's kind of on the yellow side, but it's gonna have to do. So these were them. Super, super cute. Then I got these because when I have people over, I like to have like little cute, I have like a bunch of cute bowls. These are so cute, these wooden spoons and forks. I mean, they are adorable. I got that pattern, but I really, my favorite pattern that I got was, was these. Look at how cute these are. These came out to, everything was under a dollar, so everything was mainly between 15 and 50 cents. So these were about 20 cents, I believe. So I got a few packs of those. Then I got these because you always need like cute little cookie stencils. One of them has lips, it has a heart, a bow, um, XO, just like cute little things. It was 20 cents, so how could I say no? Then this does say Valentine's Day, but nobody like flips a cupcake over and I thought these little hearts were cute for about 15 cents, why not? Then I got these sparkly bags because these can be used throughout the year and I always find myself whenever there's a birthday or something, I walk in to CVS or Walmart or wherever and I spend a freaking fortune on the bag and the tissue paper. So I figured I could use these throughout the year. They're like a big size too, like look how big they are. So that's good. And then I got this ribbon, which came out to about 20 cents or something. Isn't that cute? It's like little ribbon. I figure I could use it on some Poshmark orders to spruce them up a bit. Then I got these. These are kind of, it just says love you to the moon and back. So I guess like this is cute like for Bay's birthday or something to put his gifts inside. I got a few of them or like when I give my parents, I'm going to give them an anniversary gift this year because I got them, well me and my brothers for Christmas, we got them um, a trip for their anniversary to Key West. So I wanted to get them like a few things so I'll just use these maybe. Then I got this vase, which I always need vases. I got it, it was a dollar. And it was originally, it doesn't say, but I got it for a dollar, so I figured that was pretty cool. Then this I could totally use for like gifts for friends for Christmas. All I have to do is take out the 98 cent. And it doesn't say anything about Valentine's Day, it's like metallic, super cute. I got a ton of those actually. They were like 20 cents or something, so I got quite a few. Then this one's really cute. Look at how cute this bag is. It says, hey girl, and then it has like a little diamond. This is so cute. I wish they would have had more, but they only had one of these left. Um, again, 20 cents. Then this one is my favorite. It is a donut bag, 20 cents. Um, do This I have to like obviously take off the tag, but for a little donut bag, I've seen these at Urban Outfitters actually. I just saw them when I went this week and little donut bags were like $8 and I just paid 20 cents for them, so. That's fun. This was 20 cents, a heart, it's a pretty big heart. Cookie cutter, I love baking, so then I got just a bunch more of those. These little toppers came out to like 10 cents or something like that, and they are so cute to like stick in cupcakes when people come over. Basically just a whole bunch of pointless shit is what I got. Um, this is probably the epitome of somebody that has a shopping problem and when they see a good deal they just buy things these were 20 cents and they are heart doilies um i'm not gonna elaborate because yeah that's like probably pointless but it was 20 cents then this is probably the most useful thing i got besides the bags some really cute tissue paper um it was actually they gave me this for like 10 cents because it didn't have a tag or anything on it so obvs, I took it and I could use this for Poshmark. So yeah, a mini little Walmart haul for their Valentine's Day sale. I'm sure the Valentine's Day sale, they were just putting the stuff on clearance. So when this video goes up, I think it's gonna go up like Monday. You guys will still have a chance to run out and get it. But anyway, this is everything that I have to photograph. Again, it's a lot of duplicates. So I'll just give you guys an in detail look at one of them. Look at how cute this tweed. I mean, this jacket, look at how cute this jacket is. Who would not want this jacket? If it were cold in Florida, I would keep it, but it's not. 
and it's new with tags. So I'm just, what I'm gonna do to show you guys like the Zara haul kind of thing. Oh, it has a pocket. Is this a, f it's a fake pocket. Ooh. Oh wow, that's a fake pocket. I'm gonna have to put that in the listing. I don't wanna return. Yeah, it's a fake pocket. Okay, so I'm just gonna do like a little mini picture montage with what I got and I'll add it to the vlog so you guys can see. Like I told you, I didn't spend too much, so yeah, that's exciting stuff. Then this is one of the skirts that I got also, which is so cute, this skirt. So cute, what size is it? Oh, it's an extra small, yeah, that won't fit me. But yeah, new tags. Really cute, for Poshmark, this will for sure sell.